mom sick for 10 years until repairman finds something very wrong in her furnace Kathy was sick and tired of being sick and tired doctors turned her away her relationship with her daughter was suffering and she was miserable eventually she accepted her fate if no one could help her she'd help herself but she never expected this when Kathy heard the doorbell ring she dragged herself upright hunched over and coughed heavily reaching for a walking stick she pulled herself up from the couch as she shuffled to the door her cane scraped and tapped against the wooden floor the contractors had arrived when they made their way upstairs to finish the job she retired back to the couch her usual spot she closed her eyes hoping that a nap would alleviate some of her aches then she heard them scream her name Kathy Wilson was an ordinary 41 year old who lived in Shelbyville Indiana she'd worked hard to support her family she was no CrossFit enthusiast but she lived a moderately active life ten years ago she fell ill unexpectedly and she would convinced herself that she was just run down from stress and work but her daughter was worried and she had every right to be Kathy gulped down a cocktail of vitamins and over-the-counter medicines in an attempt to recuperate she took vitamin E vitamin C vitamin B zinc iron but none of it seemed to help after a few weeks her daughter Ashley forced her to go see a doctor but the doctor just confirmed what she already knew and she was given a sick note to take a few days off from work to rest but Kathy's illness was unshakable Kathy was pale and had random bouts of exhaustion her appetite vanished and her health continued to decline Ashley was growing increasingly worried weeks after her first visit she dragged Kathy back to the doctor they were surprised that a strong young woman with a healthy immune system like Kathy who should have overcome the flu weeks ago was still deteriorating now they were growing concerned too dr. Mary Beth Hensley beginning to take Kathy seriously ran blood and allergy tests in hopes of picking up any disease or intolerance all the tests confirmed that Kathy was a healthy woman they didn't have a diagnosis but they decided to try an elimination approach so Kathy was put on several antibiotics dr. Hensley had hoped that Kathy's reaction to the medications would give her an insight into her ailment but instead the opposite happened Kathy started to feel worse instead of better she had body aches and could barely keep her eyes open then the mystery illness started to take a toll on her mental health her friends and family members started to worry maybe the illness was all in her head but no Kathy knew her body and she knew something wasn't right Ashley witnessed her mother's deterioration firsthand and she also knew in her heart that something just wasn't right Kathy determined to get to the bottom of her illness searched for her symptoms online she spoke to experts in online chats and she tried herbal treatments and natural remedies but nothing seemed to be helping as time went by more and more people lost faith in her and no one could give her answers she'd never felt so alone before maybe it really was just all in her head Kathy visited her doctor regularly over the next 10 years dr. Hensley provided Kathy with the best care and tested for everything that she could she went to great lengths to attempt to diagnose Kathy she insisted on cardiac testing chest x-rays MRIs of the brain the spine to see if something was related but nothing seemed out of the ordinary I felt we were very thorough but didn't come up with a solution dr. Hensley explained but Kathy was growing sick and tired years of the mystery illness had affected Kathy's mental health it impacted on her relationships work and most importantly her quality of life after 10 years of her flu like symptoms she decided that if no one could help her she'd help herself so she decided to treat herself to a bathroom makeover she had plans to create a sanctuary by remodeling the entire bathroom she arranged contractors to take care of the job but shortly after they made a shocking discovery the contractors forehead crumbled with concern when he asked Kathy when her water heater had been installed Kathy knew that it had been installed years before she'd gotten sick and Ashley must have been a little girl at the time she thought hard and replied maybe 10 years ago the contractors were horrified they discovered that the furnace and water heater fitted incorrectly were causing trace amounts of carbon monoxide to escape and leak into the house over an extended period of time but isn't carbon monoxide poisonous carbon monoxide is colorless and odorless invisible to the eye this makes the gas a silent killer when the body is exposed to it the gas displaces oxygen in the blood and this causes serious damage to the heart brain and vital organs 
Even a small exposure to CO can cause chest pains, fatigue, nausea, headaches, and vertigo. But prolonged exposure can have serious effects, including vomiting, muscle weakness, fainting, and confusion. Some cases of CO poisoning even result in death. But how had she been misdiagnosed again and again? After years of searching for answers from specialists and healthcare professionals, Kathy had lost hope. But now Kathy's decade long symptoms suddenly all made sense. The most unexpected visitors had finally given her an answer. I was shocked, she exclaimed. Kathy had been suffering for so long from an unexplained illness, and it had left her in the physical condition of an old woman. But how could she ever thank them enough? Over the years, it kept getting worse and worse, Ashley explained. When she heard that finally there was proof of her mother's ailment, she was overjoyed. Now Kathy would be able to function like a normal human being again. After years of her mother being bedbound, they would now be able to do all the things that they'd missed out on, like going shopping or going out for dinner. But could she ever forgive the doctors for all the years of neglect? Kathy hasn't felt good in years. She got so much more than just a new bathroom from the contractors. She got her life back. She's thrilled to have her body, mind, and spirit healed. I feel great, she said. I haven't been this happy and I can't tell how long. Kathy's well on her way to recovery after all the years of being exposed to poison. But there's still an element of concern to this story. Kathy wishes that she'd pushed harder for a diagnosis. She'd been called crazy, delusional, and a hypochondriac for a decade because the tests were negative. She was prescribed the usual bed rest, exercise, or pills, but nothing helped. No one could give her answers, but Kathy was right to trust her instincts. Even though she had to wait for 10 years for an answer, she's grateful. Kathy looks forward to her newfound energy and her new life, and she hopes that her story will raise awareness of the dangers of carbon monoxide.